Hi there. Good afternoon. That's right. He will not be getting out of prison. The judge in this case was certainly not lenient, and she served the maximum sentence, which is 40 years, and in addition to that, 150 years. Now, this is pretty much exactly what the DA's office was asking for, so here's a listen. If you had an opportunity to be in court today, I read a letter from one of their family members uh, where they made it clear that Ms. Avant was not only a pillar to her family, but a pillar to this community. Today in court, uh, we asked for the maximum sentence for Defendant Maynard. Uh, he was sentenced for uh, and held accountable for the murder of Ms. Jacqueline Avant, for the attempted murder of a security guard, for two separate residential burglaries. Take a look. This is a photo of 30 year old Ariel Maynard in court this morning. He was wheeled in. The judge allowed for us to take some of these still photos. Maynard pleaded guilty to some of the charges back in March. The judge also took into consideration two prior robberies, making this a three strike case. The day's office uh, played today several phone recordings Maynard made while in custody. He was bragging in those phone recordings about, shoot in the, about this shooting, claiming that he will only serve about 25 years. And that he expected to steal fifty thousand dollars in good from the Avon home that day. The defense making the argument it was imperative to hear this phone call because it showed Maynard has no remorse for his actions. Ariel Maynard will now spend the rest of his life behind bars in the shooting death of 81-year-old Jacqueline Avon, a beloved local philanthropist. She was shot in her Beverly Hills home, the home she shared with her husband, celebrated music executive Clarence Avon. Now, as far as the family goes, the Avon family. We did not see anyone in court today, but of course, this is just a slice of closure for the family. And the uh, district attorney did say that he read a letter from the Avon family, essentially talking about what an important person Jacqueline Avon was to the community and why it was important for the maximum sentence to be served today. In Del Air, I'm Lena Bovian, KTLA 5 News.